Okay, so here is the uh, second batch of uh, Canelo Hills Red Ale put into my uh, CF10 Spike Brewing fermenter. Uh, the first batch just came out incredibly great. You can see the yeast is pretty active at the bottom of the conical doing, doing its work. The temperature, I've got it right now. Let's see if we can get it to where you can see it. Right at 70 degrees. Um, here's the setup that I have for it. I've got one of those aquarium chillers. And it, uh, as the water is, is inside here, inside this, this uh, Coleman, looks to be like a three or three gallon uh, cooler. I have the hoses go through the top of the tank. Looks like we got a, a floater in there. And then there's a submerg submersible pump. And right here is where I have the uh, coming from the blow off tube. Goes over into this gallon container. You can see that it's real happy, just venting away with CO2. And this has been going for, I want to say between 18 and 20 hours. I brewed it yesterday. Um, I could not be happier with uh, these uh, conical fermenters. As you can see, I've got a couple of the options added to it. I've added the leg extensions, which helps me to get it from where I filled it up at the, the brew stands at the, the boil kettle. I fill it up and then I bring it over here. I've got the sink right next to it so I can, you know, get water to it or do whatever it is that I have to do. Um, I've also added a like I showed you in the beginning, I added a sight tube and a couple things like that. And I've got the, I should have showed you before here, we'll, we'll go over and go over to this one here and I'll show you the, the coils. This coil goes down inside, reaches just about to the bottom of the tank. And that's what helps maintain the temperature. And uh, it really does an outstanding job. Of, of maintaining the temperature. Here's my little tray with you know a bunch of extra parts and pieces that I thought I couldn't live without. And uh, next Saturday I'll brew up another another batch of red ale. I'm getting ready for an Oktoberfest. So I've got uh, got to get as much together as I can. Try to see if I can't get. I've got about 12 gallons in this one right now. And uh, next next time I'll see if I can't get uh, another 12 and then if I can get one more week in there before the end of October so I can get, uh, it'll give me 30 gallons to be ready for Oktoberfest. And that'll be pretty good. And uh, But yeah, I highly recommend uh, the Spike Brewing. Kind of hard to see it. I highly recommend these Spike Brewing Conical Fermenters. Um, I did a lot of research. I watched every video that there was on YouTube about conical fermenters. And uh, these ones just really stuck, stood out to me. And uh, I kept patiently waiting for them to come out, which is unusual for me. Usually I shoot from the hip and buy right away. But uh, as you can see, they've got, uh, I think they're called tri-clamps. And uh, they are just so easy to put on and take off. This port here is for doing my sampling from. So I'll, I'll pull off samples and uh, check my hydrometer to find out how it's doing with its fermentation. And then over here, this is, is uh, where I bottle from. And uh, when I bottled up my two kegs, it came out of there just so nice and perfect that uh, you couldn't have asked for... Uh, a better a better process 
and again everything is so easy to clean and uh, the valves I absolutely love these valves um, they they're notched let's see if we can see it I don't know if we can see it but they're they're notched up underneath there so that you can open them and lock them in different various positions here's the temperature probe I think it is positioned just perfectly to where you can do a five gallon batch or you can do a, a, a 10 gallon batch whatever it is that you want and be able to get accurate temperature readings but if if uh, and here's the, the this is a four inch four inch where the the uh, chiller tubing goes into over here on the this side here it's an inch and a half opening where I've got my uh, blow-off tube hooked up to um, last time I tried hooking up because it fits just perfectly uh, just a regular blow-off like it's used in a carboy um, but I, I didn't get any activity at all in it beer fermented just fine but uh, the uh, the uh, you know regular standard blow-off device uh, uh, didn't work uh, but this time here I've got the the blow-off tube hooked up and uh, like I showed you it is it's working absolutely perfectly um, and then here's the little strap that holds the lid down tight it's got a rubber gasket around it and it's got a uh, device here for tightening it up and it seals just perfectly I also got let me go back over to the, the thing here I got uh, I got this for using with my clean in place ball um, it'll allow me to go in right here through the top and it'll be uh, mounted better better right centered as it was uh, spike keeps saying that uh, from this position here it'll work just fine but in my, my experience which is only just one one batch it, it didn't effectively clean uh, this side this side of the tank and it was it's placed down lower here as you can see this one's a little bit lower than that one um, it so it didn't completely reach all the way up to the top of the fermenter so there was about an inch all the way around the top that the CIP ball just never hit uh, so this time here I'll I'll uh, do it from the center and see if I don't get better better outcome um, but other than that it it cleaned so easy um, took I run the CIP ball for so many minutes probably about 30 minutes with uh, PBW and then I use the star the star sand uh, for another 20 or 30 minutes and but when I took the took the lid off and looked inside there's just that little bit like I said that didn't get uh, cleaned so I took the sponge went around it wiped it right off gave it a good spray and uh, I was done um, it basically just cleans itself um, but again I I highly recommend the spike CF 10 fermenter and uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to uh, send me a message and ask me thanks